What up guys, Game Nut here, and welcome back to some more Madden 23 Ultimate Team. Today we are going to be having a little content slash update video for you all on new things in Madden 23 this week, man. We've got ourselves a new competitive field pass, our second one of the season, obviously some new rewards and a new 88 overall player to earn out of that. So we're of course going to go ahead and discuss that today. And we've also got ourselves some updates with the Legends program to talk about, as well as a new promo coming out later this week. We've got the return of Campus Heroes. I really hope that this trend does not continue throughout the entire season this year for Madden 23, man, as once again, not only would I have gotten this video out for you, you guys yesterday had EA been on time on their end but you know it just seems like whenever there's a new content or update or changes being made to ultimate team man EA just struggles like they don't know how to do it Let's, once again it was delayed by a couple of hours while it was still out people were having trouble tracking their objectives things weren't tracking they couldn't even see certain objectives at one point they had to gate ultimate team for almost two hours but not even let people play the game they couldn't figure out how to get stuff to work and update the game it's just it's ridiculous man I, I don't understand it I hope everything is currently working in the game for you guys I'm just here to show you all the updates and all the new content and everything like that but I mean it's just crazy to me man every single year this valuable of a company they can't even figure out how to have simple updates made to their game mode I hope it just doesn't continue out the entire season anyways let's go ahead now and get into our new content taking a look at our new competitive field pass the second one of the season and to be honest with you guys uh, probably doesn't surprise a whole lot of you but it is uh, pretty much really identical to the first week the first competitive pass which like I said probably is not surprising uh, they really just changed out some of the pack rewards and then obviously that new 88 overall player that we have to earn so Taking a look at the first couple of rewards here, up to 15,000 coins here up at level 4, and then level 3, we got ourselves that Mutt Champions token. Level 5, we've got 25,000 seasonal XP for your regular field pass, 10,000 more coins at level 6. Level 7, we got ourselves a midfield pack, which I believe is 4 cards that come out of this pack, not any guaranteed elites that come out of it, at least for me, man. Me, man. I, I'm pretty sure most of my midfield packs I've been opening have just been 4 gold cards. You guys know me, no pack luck. Level 8, we've got ourselves a double reward here with 10,000 more coins and then 25,000 seasonal XP. Level 9, we've got ourselves a Mutt Champions token. Quick side note here, I have no idea why they hand out so many of these champion tokens. I mean, you need one a week to unlock Mutt Champions, and I'm pretty sure they give like three or maybe even four of these tokens throughout the competitive field pass so I, I i really don't know why they do that they definitely need to change those rewards a little bit level 10 we've got ourselves a random rare strategy item which this is going to be pretty valuable even if you don't use it for your team those usually sell for like thirty thousand coins or something like that level 11 we've got ourselves fifty thousand seasonal xp for that regular field pass level 12 we've got a red zone pack which i believe these are guarantee yourselves at least one elite card i'm not sure of the overall but i know that they are uh, pretty sure at least guarantee yourselves at least one core elite out of those which are nice Fifteen thousand more coins here at level 13 here is once again this is our third much champions token this is what i was talking about at level 14 i hope you can quick sell those extras for coins or maybe training or something but again i just don't know why they have so many of those fillers here for those much champion tokens when you don't need that many uh level 15 another double reward the same here 10,000 coins and 25,000 xp level 16 we've got ourselves another red zone pack so another guaranteed elite there and here's where things are starting to get a little juicy man level 17 we've got ourselves a random 89 overall bnd all madden player this is definitely going to be exciting it sucks that it's random, but it makes sense because everybody would probably just be choosing the best 89 overall uh, anyway. So I, I like the fact that it is random, but hopefully you guys get the good luck out of there. I'm sure I'll probably end up getting a random BND that I don't want on my team, like something like an offensive lineman or whatever. But level 18, we've got ourselves 25,000 coins. Level 19, another midfield pack there. Again, all four gold players, unless you get lucky and get yourself that elite. Level 20, we've got 35,000 coins now, starting to go up there with the rewards with the coins. Uh, level 21 here, we've got ourselves 25,000 seasonal xp and this does say a touchdown pack don't mind the graphic once again ea just having problems can't even get graphics right uh okay we're gonna have to fix this <laughs> Finally got these right graphics to load, man, with the correct pictures. It only took about a dozen times of backing in and out until these things finally came up correctly, man. It's what I'm talking about. It's just so embarrassing on EA's part, stuff like this. Anyways, you guys can see here that level 21 reward, that touchdown pack, and 25,000 seasonal XP. But here is the reward everybody is going to be aiming for. Our new exclusive player this week in the competitive field pass. Another 88 overall, of course. This one's a defensive player. We've got ourselves a cornerback, Tariq Woolen from Seattle Seahawks. Now, the main reason everybody is going to want this card, as you guys can see, the stats here 89 speed on this corner i believe that is uh, the most speed that we've got so far on any cornerback so far to begin the year so i know the other stats don't look fantastic i feel like you know 87 man especially 84 zone coverage don't look too crazy but uh he's obviously going to be a speedster no doubt and 88 overall free card if you're able to grind it out man uh, i think it's still going to be obviously a fantastic card to add to your team and finally as we finish out the rest of the rewards here in our competitive field pass at level 23 we've got ourselves a red zone pack 50,000 coins at level 24 
a touchdown pack at level 25, another 50,000 coins at level 26, and last but not least, one more touchdown pack at level 27 for your final reward. I know it looks like a red zone pack. Once again, graphics are screwing up here, but it is going to be two touchdown packs here to end. I did do all the math. I think it was a little bit over 200,000 coins in total if you finish the full pass, plus on top of all those packs to give you the chance for some good elites, man. Uh, obviously, pretty solid rewards if you're able to grind out your entire competitive pass. Now, taking a look at the objectives, I believe these were changed around a little bit from the first uh, competitive field pass that did come out. Obviously, our first tab here under the stats, we have the same, which I believe is just, you know, a couple of weekly objectives. You know, get yourself some CP. It looks like 30 competitive points in total that you get from these weekly uh, objective stats there. Uh, under solo battles, I believe this one was also changed around just a tiny little bit. As I uh, think right here, like this was 10 solo battles on Legend difficulty. I want to say this one was like 20 solo battles on MVP or higher. So they did lower the standards for those just a little bit, which is nice. And hopefully these ones will actually track correctly. As again, this was something I was seeing on Twitter for people. These were one of the objectives that I was seeing a lot of people have problems with specifically this first one here like I was seeing this you know repeatable objective here where you get one CP every solo battle I was seeing some people have this one like completed as if you couldn't you know do repeated solo battles you know that was finished down here like it said complete so hopefully they figure that type of stuff out this week man and no more problems are going to come with the objectives and the competitive field pass uh, I believe these ones are the same though at the end here for Mutt Champions and head-to-head -head seasons get 35 Mutt Champion wins between the two weeks uh, two weeks I should say uh, for the competitive field pass and then down here again the same yeah 30 wins for head-to-head -head seasons in the two weeks to be able to get all the rewards there for those competitive points taking a look now at the legends program as we've had ourselves a couple of changes and updates made over here now in general for the legends program it is a little bit different from what we have seen in the past couple of years so just a quick rundown for you guys there is still the power up versions there still are the middle versions you know like the 81 83 85 and 87 overalls as you guys can see here for example for steve atwater and then there still is the full boss version 89 overall of each legend now the difference with the power ups this year is it no longer takes training to upgrade these cards you got five training just for the beginning level but then you now have to go ahead and add each of those lower overall versions of the legend into the power up to fully upgrade it now it is a little bit more expensive than what we have seen in the past hopefully prices do come down but one other bonus with these is that i believe the 85 overall versions and up come pre-equipped with some abilities on them and for example if you are to put them into the power ups you will then be able to get those exact same abilities back onto the card but at a much cheaper price and i believe for also less ability points so here are some of the changes and updates coming to the legends announced by ea you guys can see we've got ourselves a full list here the first one being when you complete yourselves the boss legend set aka the 89 overall full legend it is now going to return a bnd season item which you can use for the power up now i believe what they mean by the bnd season item that is the 87 overall version of the legends which is huge man that is the second most expensive card for the legends man obviously outside of the full 89 boss version but when you're trying to go and complete that for the power ups and you know fully power up your legend cards it's quite expensive this year man and so like i said with the second most expensive card there's now a way to be able to go and get ahead and get yourselves a bnd version of that so you can just put it right back into the power up as opposed to getting two of them i believe like you said if you were just complete the set you need the 87 overall for the set and then you would need another 87 overall to put into the power up to fully power up that legend it's quite expensive man so i believe that means you now get the 87 overall for free in return bnd but you guys can do see the one quick note there it does say that this change is going to be introduced to the next set of legends that come out and release two on September 3rd it is not going to apply for the first eight legends that came out in the game another way we are going to be able to earn ourselves an 87 overall legend player will be in our next competitive field pass as you guys can see here so we're still gonna have to wait two more weeks for this full reward to come out you guys can see September 12th our third competitive field pass that's going to be coming out we'll have a reward which is a choice of an 87 overall BND legend player it looks like it says it's going to be a fantasy pack where you get to choose one of the eight legends that came out in the first part of the release of the legends program so again definitely a big help there going to be a value card and either help you in the power up or just completing the set for the full legend and finally the last couple of points to note here you guys can see legend power ups are now going to have the ability to put team chemistries earlier on than what they were previously i don't know what overall you had to get the power up to begin with to be able to put the team chemistries on but obviously it's a good sign that now you can apply those onto the card a lot earlier and last but not least you guys can see legend power ups now are going to release throughout the year you're going to see more benefits from both the custom ability buckets as well as the archetype ability buckets so that is pretty much going to be it for all of the updates i have for you guys man and all of the new content from the competitive field pass we've got new changes made to the legends and the last little bit of info i have for you guys here as you guys can see campus heroes will be making the return this year into madden 23 ultimate team last week on the content schedule they had headliners part two in that same slot where they have campus heroes now and headliners part two came out on thursday so i am fully anticipating campus heroes to come out here in just a few days this thursday but i also am fully expecting there to be some sort of issue man it's ea they've had a delay with every promo and update so far this year so like i said although campus here should
should be out on Thursday. Definitely expect some sort of delay by a few hours or something and just some sort of problems with Campus Heroes coming into the game. But again, I guess that is pretty much going to be it for this video, you guys. New content and new updates this week for Ultimate Team, man. New stuff to grind towards. Uh, good luck on you guys grinding for your Tariq Woolen this week. I hope you guys are able to earn him. If you guys got any help from this video, man, I would appreciate it if you put a thumbs up on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, and I will catch you all in the next one. Take it easy, guys. Peace out.